Hey guys, it's Mike with iReviewGear.com. In the mountains of central Utah again. It's where I call home. And I am up here taking a look at and using the Vortex High Country tri Tripod. It's a lightweight tripod um, that I got this year just for a couple backpacking trips I've, I'm going to go on. I've got some heavier duty tripods that have the big, you know, uh, heads on them that stabilize the spotting scope really well, but I just wanted something smaller that I could backpack with, and I kind of think this is the ticket. I've got this Swarovski um, 20 to 60 by 65 spotting scope on it, and it seems to be about right for it. Now, I don't think this would be a tripod that you're going to um, go set up somewhere and do hours and hours of glassing uh, and be, you know, super stable with it. But certainly doing that when you're backpacked in, this thing is ideal for it. And I want to kind of go over some of the features with you. Um, first, you can see that I've got this back leg of this tripod even with the body. I've got it lined up. If you take it off of that alignment and put it um, in this position, it can get a little bit tippy. So it's just about right, but you'll have to pay attention to get the tripod set up just right uh, to be able to use it. You can see that it's got a ball head right here. Hopefully you can see that, which makes this thing really easy to adjust. I'm gonna put up a little higher in a minute and you can see how fluid it is to uh, scan with that scope, with that ball head. It's got these legs that uh, adjust freely out to this point and then with a the push of the button, they go out to one more level, a push of the button, clear out almost flat. Now the other cool feature about this tripod, it's got this center post that you can use for stability, right? So if you raise this up higher, it's got a hook on the bottom, you can put your backpack on, and then a little bit of wind really stabilize it with that weight. Also though, it unscrews, so you can take the centerpiece off, lay these legs clear out flat, as I'm gonna do right now. So I've got that center post screwed off. You can see, it screws off real easy. And those legs laid clear out and with that, that thing is very low to the ground because that center column disappears. And now let's say, for instance, I was bench shooting, um, wanted it down really low. You have the ability to take this tripod down super low. Or if you're laying down and spotting or just sitting on your butt or whatever, you can take that down super low, uh, which I think is a great feature. Um, let me point out this cool thing also, if you can see it. It's kind of weird sun. But you can see right here that uh, the way you attach the scope with a quick attach is with a screw on. So you loosen this right here. You just loosen that up and then the uh, quick disconnect slides forward and slides backwards. Also, to allow you to move it forward and back and get a little bit better angle or a little bit better balance, um, it's got this pin on the side. So once you unloosen it, you can slide it back, slide it forward either direction it still won't come clear out until you depress this button and release it. So that's a pretty cool feature um, on this uh, tripod as well, how it quick connects. So this little sucker's really loaded up with some features. There's that ball head that I mentioned earlier, right in there that you can see. Uh, so it's just got a super nice ball head that's really fluid. You adjust it just by loosening this a little bit, and then you can easily adjust it with the with just your hand. So I'm going to try that right now. I've got that um, set up. I just loosen this a teeny bit. It's still snug, but you can see that I can roll that now in any direction really well. Pan it this way, pan it sideways, tilt it up and down, and it's just got a really smooth adjustment with that ball head. And then just tighten it back up, and it stays pretty stable. So once again, that's the Vortex High Country. Really quick overview. It's got um, a pretty good height to it too so you can adjust all these legs out it's got four of them just pretty high so you can even use this sucker standing up so it gets high enough to stand up low enough to lay down with the legs clear out good ball head it's just a good spotting scope for backpacking um, but that's about as big a spotting scope that I would use on it I wouldn't go any bigger that's about the big as it's going to stabilize and have any luck uh, with that Swarovski 65. Hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, it's Mike with iReviewGear.com. Go online and read more about it. Bye.